just chose the morning, three, four houses were set ablaze. And this took last night eight. So all together is about 12 houses in a period of four days. My name is Oral Gunning, I'm the PNP caretaker candidate and the farmer councillor for the division. You know, and as you see, we are here today because quite a few houses have been um, set ablaze last night. Where, where are we exactly? We are in a community called Mexico, in Gregory Park. And, um, you know, it is sad because this thing has been happening over a period of time. From last year, last year August was the same thing. If you can recall that at least five or six persons was murdered, first week of August 2021. And as if it's, it's a seasonal thing now for people to be warring against each other. Just choose the morning, three, four houses were set ablaze. And this took last night eight. So all together is about 12 houses in a period of four days. And it's in the same, in in the the same, same Mexico community. community. In the same Mexico Gulf, um, Portmore Villa, the same Gregory Park um, community. And it is sad. I'm telling you, nobody would want to find themselves in this position. Nobody in the world would want to find themselves in this position. It's just yesterday I went to a funeral for a 15-year-old that was murdered in the same war, ongoing war that is on for over, over two years now. And the, the important thing is that nobody knows what is the cause of the war. Up until now, I just can't see the reason for the war. Because most of these guys go to the same Gregory Park Primary School. So they know each other. And since, if I tell you that since 2021 um, January, is over at least 50 person that would have been killed in this way in Gregory Park. You have to go to funeral like every other day you're at funeral. And it's sad, it breaks my heart. Because when you know that it's a community that people, most people are family in Gregory Park. If you check it, the record, most of them are either closely related or far away related. But it can't be that we live in a community where people is afraid because they come from Mexico. They can't go to Christian Pen or they can't go to Gulf. Or Gulf people can't go to Christian Pen or they can't go to Post Office. You have people in here who have to go to the health centre or Christian Pen and afraid to go there, you know. Because they don't want to leave from one area to go to another area. And to me that is not right. And I think the police have their hands full. Believe me. I think what we really need is social intervention. I don't mean one half hearted come and talk today and tomorrow and nothing will go on. Because you're giving them space to start back them thing again. You need intervention that can be successful in the fight against the crime and the war in Agurgo Park. How many people migrate, move out from Agurgo Park? So many families have gone and left the community. And it's just sad. How many persons do you believe are affected by last night's fire? Based on what I understand, it's maybe about 30 or so, 35 persons that have been there. Because most of these houses, you find that um, six, seven persons are living at the house. So if it's eight persons, I put that about 35 persons that would have been affected. As you can see, I was talking to the, 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 the lady here, to, to Nisi here, and she, she explained to me that all our children back to school items have been gone, destroying the fire. So it therefore means that wherever means possible, we have to try to find some way of a help her. We have to. We have to. It's just sad.